like it. <clears throat> Hi guys. Empress G here. Um, I just want to do a quick, um, easy dish. And um, this dish, everybody from the islands call it, you know, by, you know, people in the, the Caribbean, from different parts of the Caribbean, you know, call things different name, the same thing, different name or whatever. Anyway, I'm doing it, uh, saltfish sauce. I think that's, yeah, saltfish sauce or saltfish pickle or whatever you want to call it, but I'm doing it with my take on it. So basically I get some codfish, um, real codfish, and I soak it overnight with lemon and vinegar, a little bit of vinegar in it. And when you're doing this dish, do not boil it out too much. So after I take it out this morning, I just boil up some water, just put it in, blanch it in and take it out. And this is the finished touch here. And this is about 400 grams of um, salt fi uh, codfish. This is a real codfish. See? It's very white and pretty, not, not salt fish. Nothing wrong with salt fish. Any fish you have, you can do this dish. With dish. Um, salt fish, codfish, whatever. But you know what? I prefer codfish and I... Um, so that's the same other codfish I have right there. No, this is... um. Yeah, I think this is about, yeah, I think it's about 450 gram or a little bit more over that, okay? And the, the thing that makes this dish really, really work, really give it the taste, parsley, and I prefer to use the broad parsley, not the Italian parsley, cucumbers, okay? And right now I have some green peppers, orange peppers, lots of tomato, and how I do my tomato, I peel off all the skin, seed it, and just like that green onions or spring onion lots of garlic some ginger i love ginger and everything and i mix my onions i have both a red onion and white onion and i give it a lot of eat and for the vinaigrette it's going to be extra this is a hundred percent for pure cold press extra virgin olive oil you can just use basic olive oil if you have that but i always and this olive oil you just use for vinaigrette because if you use it to cook with, it will burn. You have to you'd have to mix it with another oil like veg, vegetable oil. So or you just use the, the 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 plain olive oil, you know, extra virgin olive oil. But this one is a hundred percent pure cold press, extra virgin. So this is what I use in all my vinaigrette. And I have a large lemon here, lemon juice, and it's going to be a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. And because in this dish, you're not going to put a lot of stuff like, you know, oregano or basil or anything like that. This is basically a little cilantro. Cilantro. But the most herb you're going to be using is your parsley and all of your vegetables. So right now we have the saltfish there. And we're just going to incorporate every single vegetable and herbs in it. Okay, so the peppers are going in. Uh, because it's going to be eat, eaten like this. You're not going to be um, no more cooking. Like later on, if you have it in the fridge left over and you want to like, you know, eat it warm, you can just put in a little olive oil and just fry up everything and that's it. But I guarantee you this dish. This dish is also, if you have a party, you could use it as a appetizer because you have crackers or whatever and you, and, and you, you know, you just top it with it. So... This dish is not going to left over to be warm or cooked because the codfish and everything in it is so, is so nice. So nice. And once you put that vinaigrette on, ah, that does it. That really does it. Okay. So basically I have all of the um, peppers and this is the cilantro going in. I froze it because when you buy a lot of these um, herbs, you know, they get pretty the wither and you're pretty fast so the best way I find you um close it so what I do with a lot of these herbs when I buy them I wash them off soak them off in some baking soda and vinegar you know because um a lot of these herbs can have a lot of stuff on it so the parsley I soak off in um some vinegar and um baking soda you know and a little salt and a little salt to it okay so this is it. So I'm going to be doing the cucumber right now, cutting up the cucumbers. And that's the um, thing that gives it 
that taste, the cucumber and the, the parsley. Those are the four of the main thing in it. That really gives it that kick. And basically, I just um, cube my cucumber. Okay, so I just, you cut it up very small. And the cucumber give it such a, you know, like, you know, this dish um in some island, they don't put as much stuff up because I have a friend who do it. And basically, I just use their, um, the, the cucumber, um, the spring onions, and parsley, and some tomato, and you know, that's it. But I like to add my, um, and also garlic, but I love to add my sweet peppers and all of that in it, in, in things, you know. Sweet peppers give thing, uh, everything a very nice flavor. So, and this dish could be eaten with just bread, crackers, uh, but what I did, I boiled a couple of green bananas. And that's it. That's what I'm going to have with mine. Yeah. You can have food with it if you want. Not just green banana alone, but that's what I'm going to have. I just boil a couple of green banana and that's going to be it, you know. Like this, you can never have too much um cucumbers. Okay, no good cucumbers are for you, you know. They hydrate you. They lower your blood pressure. They, they you know, they, they have a lot of health benefits. Uh, everything here. The parsley. But you can drink parsley as a tea, also that lower your blood pressure, you know, and you juice it along with cucumbers and celery. Yeah, so everything here you eat, and, and the thing about it, you're eating everything fresh. Nothing is cooked, you know, everything is just eaten fresh. So you're getting all the benefit of it, you know, because a lot of time when you cook all of these vegetables and stuff, you know, you lose a lot of the nutrient from it, you know, so... Like I said, um, you know, I know people like to make comments about not so it make or not. Like I said, I put in my own touch on it and everything I, you know, so it's basically saltfish sauce or saltfish, um, what's the other word I'm looking for, you know, but it's basically saltfish sauce. And I add a lot, like a lot of pepper to it. You know me already. I like my heat and spice. I also had some sweet, you can add some sweet pepper also to it. You know, so I'm just going to put in a little bit of black pepper. Not a, yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to put a little more heat to it. A green pepper. Uh, the green pepper having so much flavor, you know, so I mix it up. I use the green for flavor and the red for eat mostly but the green peppers is so good for flavor and stuff fermento peppers that which is a sweet pepper not hot that is um very good to put in you know i know mostly it is more popular like grenada and trinidad dishes you know our jamaican dishes mostly sweet pepper and our hot pepper but you know we start using a lot of um once you get to know things you know, it's just like Aki back in the day. Everybody thought Aki was poisonous. I mean, most island people didn't use it. And now, you know, I have friends from all over the place um, wanting me to send them um, Aki. Like Tr Trinidad Barbados wanted me to send them some Aki or, you know. So basically, okay, this is it here. Lots of parsley. I also had um not just the green but a little bit of dry parsley because like i said you can never go wrong with the parsley and the cucumbers in it you know that is the main the main thing in it and i also give it a little bit of chili 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 and cayenne because those two peppers are um so good for you anti-inflammatory and uh, i said i wouldn't but i'm gonna put a little bit of basil but basil is another very good um herb and i just love my all my herbs so basically that's it so i just mix it up oh i think it's about two pounds of salt fish yeah i think so it's a lot of salt fish so folks i have the one lemon here why don't you put the lemon juice on and i you know like i i said i soaked it before in a lot of lemon and um I don't know, before I, yeah, I boil it off, so I'll just see, because that is what's going to give it the, um, 
me see if I have enough lemon in it. I did one lemon, but for the amount of salt, so you know what, guys? I'm just going to quickly squeeze another lemon in it because the lemon is what give it that bumblebee. Give it that kick. And you know, with salt, with fish, you, you always have a lot of lemon in, in your fish. So I'm just going to add another half a lemon, I think, in it. I think that should do. And like I said, your taste as you go along. So that is about a one and a half size lemon. And the olive oil, I just use very generously. I don't measure it just because this olive oil is what really going to bring it out. You know, so I might put, say, maybe about a half a cup to three quarter cups of olive oil in it. Yeah, really. Um, but that's where the health benefit is from, from the, the olive oil. And this is the real olive oil, the cold press. Yeah, that's um, this is why I said this olive oil, you don't use it for cooking. It's mostly for your sauces and um, I use it for my dressings. Yeah. Because if you're going to use it for, like if you have it alone and you need to cook, you have to add some um, vegetable oil to it to um, sort of, um, you know, because it burns pretty fast. You put it in the pot and it will burn right away, you know, so this is it. So it's not really olive oil for cooking. It's basically for, um, you know, for, for your salad and stuff. And the thing about this olive oil, if you, I, I can tell you my story because it's true. I I got um, stone way back and I was going to be operated on and I, I went into a health food store and the homeopathic guy told me, go home before you go to bed, take um, magnesium citrate and don't eat anything past six o'clock. Use a magnesium citrate, a whole bottle, drink it. It's a, it's a laxative. It's one of those laxatives they use in, um, when you're operating and stuff. And I took it the night before I go to bed. And in the morning, he said to me, I squeeze a lemon with a cup of olive oil and use a classic Coke, a cup of classic Coke. And the whole idea is was, with the Coke is that the Coke will keep the able to, for you to keep the olive oil in your system, in your stomach. And so it was two, a tablespoon of um, lemon juice or two and a cup of olive oil. And I use a quarter cup of cold press um of um classic um coke not diet coke the real coke so it's the, this thing this is the one we use cold press um two teaspoon of lemon juice and a half a quarter cup of um classic coke and i took that at nine o'clock and by three o'clock and i went everything you this big green balls because that is what um gallstone is all about they're they're fat that form in your gallbladder and block it so you will get a lot of pain anybody who have gallbladder um gallstone will end up getting a lot of pain almost like a heart attack you know and when you do that surgery on you it's such a nasty cut you leave a nasty mark on it and since i did it um over 20 years now all i do every couple of years i just do you know just do a little of the treatment <coughs> excuse me and it's not needed because, and this is why you have to avoid a lot of fats and stuff like that. You know, because um, I have a friend who did the surgery. Once you take your gallbladder out, there's a lot of stuff that you cannot eat. And if you eat it, you can get very sick because the gallbladder was there as a mean to prevent. Um, that's where all the fats and everything would go, um, but not to a certain large extent. So once you get your gallbladder out, you're going to have problem. The pepper <coughs> is in my throat. It's that hot. So this is it. So I just thought I'd give people that little bit of advice there. But um, if they have found that they have gallstone, no, go check your doctor first. Go check your doctor. And, um, you know, but that's how I get me rid of my gall gallstone. Years, 25 years now, and they haven't come back. And every few years, I just do a uh, cleansing, the same thing. And that's it, you know. So, and this is the... Cold press, cold press, extra virgin olive oil. This is the one you use for that. If you want to get rid of those, um, yeah. So basically, 
that's my little thing there and you know like i said i don't tell anybody anything unless i use use it and try it and it works for me and that's over 25 30, um years now and my gallbladder is still intact and i have no problem you know so just thought i share that with you folks yeah so basically this is it right here folks this is a saltfish sauce and in it as i say i use about two two pounds of saltfish um i use two cucumbers because this is a large amount uh, or one and a half cucumber uh, i use both onions red onion uh white onion spring onions garlic a little bit of ginger and put your sweet pepper um i use green sweet pepper and i think i use the orange one and your cucumbers and this is what it looks like okay yeah so basically i'm gonna show you um how i am gonna have and this is really good this um this can go for breakfast or anything and like i said you can use um anything if you want to um, cook on um, lots of food banana dumpling yam with it or whatever or you just eat it with um your ardo bread or your crackers but i'm just gonna have it with two nice boiled banana that's one of the favorite ways when I do it, most people like to have it. So I'm just gonna do it with um because it has the juice and everything in it right now. So and the bananas are hot, and I'm just so basically, folks. This is salt fish sauce. Or saltfish pickle, anything you want to call it, you know. And there's so much juice in the bottom. So that's it right there, guys. That's the saltfish sauce. Or pickle saltfish or whatever you want to call it. But it's basically saltfish sauce. And everybody has a different take on it. So, so folks, that's my saltfish sauce with boiled banana that's it right there okay folks looks good that's it saltfish sauce and boiled banana and this is a a pound a two pounds of saltfish give me that so a lot of folks gonna have some from that okay so saltfish sauce and boiled banana and you can have and i'm gonna have some mint tea <laughs> okay folks so i hope you enjoy that little video okay all right thanks for watching peace